is a land of endless discoveries. Every state, every city has a unique treasure trove of history, adventure, spirituality, and delicious cuisine. Bollywood, which is India, Laker Zarur Aya. Lakin, actor Kisat Sat, India, and Muja travel enthusiast P. Banadia. And my passion for exploring the incredible places of this country led me back to season two of India with Ellie on Curly Tales. And this time, I'm going to the land of Buddha, Bihar. So, come and pack with me. Bihar is a place full of history and spiritual significance, located in the eastern part of India. This state is known as the land of monasteries and has many other tourist attractions that makes it a great state to visit. I will be taking you on a 10-day journey through some incredible spots in Bihar, starting off from the capital city, Patna. पुराना सिटी है क्योंकि यहाँ लोग हजार सालों से भी ज्यादा रह रहे हैं पुराने दिनों में पटना वॉज कॉल्ड पतली पुत्र इट वॉज लाइक द सेंटर फॉर पॉलिटिक्स मनी एंड कल्चर I have come to Bihar Museum which is located in this historical city of Patna. Spread across 13 acres, this museum is India's first world-class modern museum since the independence. Bihar ki rich history jaane ke liye this is definitely the best place to go. I have come to Patna Sahib Gurudwara which is the second oldest gurudwara temple in India after the Golden Temple. Yahan pe Guru Gobind Singh ji ka janam hua tha. Chaliye andar jaate hain aur dekhte hain. Patna is like a tijori full of history and a lot of secrets. और आज हम वो सब डिस्कवर करेंगे राइट नाउ आई एम हियर एट पतन देवी टेम्पल जो पटना का सबसे पुराना मंदिर है नाउ लेट्स गो टू गोलघर ये ब्रिटिश कॉलोनियल पीरियड की सबसे आइकॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर है Golgar is truly an architectural marvel jo bana tha in the 18th centuries to address food storage issues during famines. Yahan ek bada sa gol dhaniya ghar hai with thick walls and unique architecture. Par suna hai yahan Golgar ke upar aapko pure Patna ka view dikhega. Upar jaane ke liye ek spiral staircase hai. Agamkua is an ancient archaeological site located near Kumrar in Patna. Ye 105 feet deep hai and is circular in shape with a diameter of 15 feet. Ye well itne purane time mein banaya gaya tha. But look at its engineering. It's so impressive. Aur maine sunna hai ki this one is associated with Emperor Ashoka. This is the new Mahatma Gandhi Setu inaugurated in the year 2022. Ye India ka longest steel bridge hai over the Ganga River connecting the south and north of Bihar. 1982 mein Indira Gandhi ne purane setu ka inauguration kiya tha. However, due to years of use, a stronger structure was needed. As a result, the Gandhi Setu rehabilitation project was initiated by the Bihar government to construct a new bridge. Yeah. 
गांधी जी ने इंडिया में खादी टेक्सटाइल और हैंडीक्राफ्ट प्रोडक्ट्स प्रमोट करने के लिए बहुत सारे इनिशिएटिव्स लिया है और बिहार सरकार भी उसी रास्ते पे आगे बढ़ रही है आई एम हियर एट खादी मॉल इन पटना सो लेट सी वट ऑल दे है This is Champaran Meat House which is the oldest outlet in Patna. Let's have a look at how they make the dishes. Bihar ka Lord Buddha se bahut purana rishta hai and I've come to Buddha Smriti Park so let's explore it together. So guys, my trip to Patna ends with temples, museums, local traditional food. The city gives a thousand reasons to visit and explore every corner. Mujhe to bahut maza aaya aur ab main ja rahi hu to another city of Bihar, Nalanda. Main aayi hu Bihar ke ek aise district that resonates with the echoes of its past and history comes alive with every step patna se 2 ghante dur this place has hosted some of india's greatest scholars and monks welcome to nalanda Nalanda is a major tourist destination in the heart of Bihar. It's a vibrant district with a blend of history and rural charm where people from diverse backgrounds come together. This place in itself is like a living story that spans across centuries. And yahan ke ruins jo aap dekh sakte ho is an UNESCO World Heritage Site aur jaise main yahi pe chal rahi hu mujhe aisa lagta hai ki i am stepping back in time humne ancient nalanda university to dekh li but iski dark history janne ke baad kabhi nahi socha tha nalanda university can be back in its glory itself Kudos to the Bihar government who have made significant contributions to the Nalanda University development project. 2011 mein government of Bihar ne around 455 acres ke land gift ki to set up a new world class Nalanda University. So, let's go and have a look at the new Nalanda University. Near the ruins of Nalanda University there is a temple named the Black Buddha Temple. Vaha pe Black Buddha ki ek badi si murti hai in Bhumi Sparta Mudra. This statue was discovered when the Nalanda ruins were destroyed. The statue was partially damaged by the invaders. Buddha ki murti mein log tel chadate hain in hope ki unki sari mushkilein dur ho jaye. नालंदा जो मेनली हिस्टोरिकल सिग्निफिकेंस के लिए जाना जाता है लेकिन बहुत लोग ये नहीं जानते हैं कि दिस प्लेस इज ऑल्सो अ स्पिरिचुअल सिग्निफिकेंस जैसे गौतम बुद्धा और महावीर भगवान यहाँ बहुत साल रहे हैं सो जॉइन मी अन स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी इन नालंदा ये 
ये 600 साल पुराना टेंपल है और कहा गया है कि भगवान महावीर ने अपने पहले 22 साल यहीं पे गुजारे हैं। अब हम बढ़ते हैं सूर्य मंदिर की ओर विच इज लोकेटेड नियर नालंदा यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोमाइस और ये सदियों पुराना टेंपल है एंड इट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द ट्वेल्व सूर्य धाम्स इन इंडिया अब चलते हैं पवापुरी के जल मंदिर की ओर पवापुरी also called a pappapuri means the sinless town and is considered to be a sacred pilgrim center for jains yahan par lord mahavira was cremated and a pond was constructed like many other indian cities nalanda is also a home for multiple religious communities और हमने नालंदा के हिंदू टेंपल्स तो विजिट कर लिया है नाउ लेट्स हेड टू बिहार शरीफ व्हिच इज होम टू न्यूमरस मुस्लिम श्राइंस ये बिहार शरीफ की बड़ी दरगाह है लैक्स ऑफ पिलग्रिम्स ऑफ ऑल रिलीजंस एंड कम्युनिटीज कम टू दिस श्राइन I must say that I am extremely impressed with Bihar tourism for the development that they are doing for the tourist places here in Bihar. Keep it up cuz I am truly enjoying my journey over here and I'm looking forward to the next city that I will be exploring. Main aayi hu Bihar ki ek aise city mein jise raja ka shehar kaha jata hai. from ancient caves to hot springs ruins temples and safari yahan sab kuch hai so guys join me in discovering the wonders of this royal city welcome to rajgir in bihar wow it's so beautiful over here so This stupa was built as a symbol for peace and ahimsa after the Second World War. And I have to say, yahan pe sach mein sukoon mil raha hai. Rajgir mein kaafi sare hot water springs hain like the Maktum Kund, Brahma Kund. Kaha jata hai serious illness can also be cured just by bathing in these waters. दुनिया बाहर से टूरिस्ट आते हैं टू टेक अ डिप इन दीज वॉटर्स राजगीर में हमेशा से नेचुरल हॉट स्प्रिंग्स थे जस्ट लाइक वी सॉ बट पुराने जमाने में पीने के पानी की कमी थी हर जगह क्योंकि गर्म पानी रहता था बहुत ज्यादा बट वेन श्री गुरु नानक केम एंड विजिटेड दिस प्लेस इन राजगीर he pointed out at a spot which is over there and he told the people to start to dig aur jaise logo ne wo kiya na thanda pani aaya so today i got very angry once um because i'm a big believer and follower of keeping the nature clean and when i just saw this man suddenly stop his car to throw this one plastic kachra i got very upset aur jaise main ye dekhti hu ki log aise karte hain matlab mujhe bahut bura lagta hai because mere hisab se matlab main manti hu ki ye duniya jo hai this mother earth is the biggest temple that we have and we need to respect it so isliye i am requesting everyone and all the tourists especially please take care of mother nature and do not throw the kachra the plastic out there because yeah we are just spoiling the planet that we are living on so please do follow swachh bharat if you do love your country
Rajgir has everything for adventure lovers. Whether you want to show your fearless side or just have a great time, Rajgir has the best adventures. And right now, I am at Rajgir Nature and Wildlife Safari. Got my ticket for the safari. So today is going to be a very adventurous day. तबियत थोड़ा खराब है मेरा, लेकिन I think क्योंकि मैं इतना excited हूँ ना, तो I'm being able to cope up. So fingers crossed, the day will be amazing. This nature safari is one of its kind in the country and it's spread across 500 acre forest area. This safari ki ticket ka price hai 150 rupees. Yaha par aap bohut sari activities enjoy kar sakte ho like the glass bridge, suspension zip line, archery, trekking, mud and tree cottages, wooden hut and a medicinal park. Wow. Okay, so ye India ka pehla glass sky walk bridge hai and it's here in Rajgir Vihar and it is so beautiful. I mean, look at this view. Look at the scenery, the nature. So I'm right now on Rajgir's Suspension Bridge. नाम तो बहुत कमाल है, है ना? And this bridge is exactly like हवा में है over the very famous Palgu River. अच्छा मैं कुछ पूछ सकते हो क्या? हाँ जी हाँ। यहाँ पे river दिखता है क्या? नहीं river नहीं। मतलब वो Palgu नदी जो है ना? Palgu River तो underground है। क्या बात कर रहे हो अंडरग्राउंड है अंडरग्राउंड है मतलब उसके जब जैसे उसके किनारे पे जाएंगे ना उसके कोस्ट पे तो उससे आप थोड़ा सा नीचे देख करेंगे तो पानी आएगा नीचे अच्छा मुझे तो लगा कि दो पितना कड़क है तो वो सूख गए सीता माता का श्राप लगा था हाँ जब उन्होंने दशरथ महाराज का श्राद किया था हाँ तब so, Dasar Ji Maharaj has taken his hand and said, let me do my hand. Oh! So, he said, Shri Ram and Dasar Ji have gone outside. Yes. So, he doesn't say, son, you do it. Oh! So, he said, how do I do it? I don't have any money. Yes. He said, you do it with water. So, he took the water from there. He took the water from there. So, he took the water from there. So, he took the water from there. So, this is the water from there. Oh! Wow! Look at this. Hi, little one. Do do do. Hi. Hi. अब हम सफारी के लिए जाएंगे. Are you guys excited? Special socks for the safari. They are chickens. Hawa ki uchayu mein kaafi activity ho gai. Now I'm heading back. Wildlife safari ke liye dousra route hai. Aur us ke liye dousri ticket leni parti hai. Which costs 250 rupees per person. And us ki buses bhi different hai. So chalo chalte hai for another adventure. कभी सोचा नहीं था यहाँ आकर नेचर सफारी और वाइल्डलाइफ सफारी करूँगी। I have to say, I feel the Bihar government has done an incredible job by providing tourists with diverse options for leisure activities. And this is not enough. यहाँ पर पास में पांडू पोकर एको एडवेंचर रिसोर्ट है। And now, spread across 22 acres. Pandu Poker in Rajgir is a beautiful, calm and serene location, showcasing a magnificent peace 
of Indian history that traces its roots back to the Mahabharat. जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं वहां पर 37 feet tall King Pandu की bronze statue है Ending my day with a beautiful sunset and I have to say, मतलब मुझे ऐसा लगा कि बिहार में आके मैं सिर्फ बहुत सारा खाना ट्राई टेस्ट करूंगी और बहुत सारे होली प्लेसेस पे जाऊंगी एंड आई गेट टू एक्सप्लोर दैट बट ये मुझे बिल्कुल नहीं मालूम पड़ा कि बिहार टूरिज्म हैज मेड श्योर कि इतने सारे और एक्टिविटीज है यहीं पे जो टूरिस्ट आके एक्सप्लोर कर सकता है जैसे मैंने किया आज पूरा दिन आप बिठा सकते हो यहाँ पे सो इट कैन बी अ वेरी एडवेंचरस फन डे I go to one of the holiest cities of India from being the birthplace of Buddhism sharing a deep bond with Hinduism and Jainism This city has not only shaped the religious and cultural identity of Bihar but also the rest of India Welcome to the holiest city of Bihar Gaya Gaya is the second largest city of Bihar situated 100 kilometers south of Patna. This city is named after the name of a famous demon called Gayasur. It is well connected by road, rail and air. Gaya is a divine destination for Pindan. And it was said that Bhagwan Ram, Devi Sita aur Lakshman ke sath aaye the to offer Pindan to Bhagwan Ram's father Raja Dashrath I'm very curious to see more about these rituals My first stop today is Vishnupad Mandir Vishnupad Mandir ka matlab Vishnu ke charno ke mandir and it is said ki Vishnu Bhagwan killed the demon Gayasur only by stamping his foot on Gayasur's chest bahar se bahut sundar dikh raha hai let's see from inside it is said that sita mata took a bath here before going to vanvas for 14 year aur isliye kehte hai sita kund अब मैं जा रहे हो टू वन मोर एंशन टेम्पल ऑफ गाया ये टेम्पल लोकेटेड है ऑन अ स्मॉल हिलक यू हैव टू क्लाइम अ कपल ऑफ स्टेयर्स टू रीच देर दिस इज माँ मंगला गौरी टेम्पल वन ऑफ द एटीन महाशक्ति पीठ दिस टेम्पल डेट्स बैक टू फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी एंड इज डेडिकेटेड टू गॉडस सती I'm quite hungry now and I have heard a lot about the local mithai here so I want to try some of it aur mujhe driver bhaiya ne bataya ki pramod laddu bhandar bahut famous hai yahan par aapko sari local and traditional sweets milegi Siddharth Gautam sat for 7 days and got all his gyan and enlightenment and he became Lord Gautam Buddha and it was also said 
that the night when it all happened, it was Purnima, full moon. This is Mahabodhi Temple Complex and it is one of the four holy sites related to the life of Lord Buddha. And this is the first temple hai, which is built entirely in bricks. This is the great Buddha statue and it is around 80 feet tall. And this Buddha statue is one of the largest in India. The foundation stone of this statue was laid in 1989. And as you can see, the statue is in Dhyan Mudra, seated on a lotus in open air. It's so nice to see that Yahape Matlava. School bachche bhi aate hai, picnic ke liye, matlab, aise jage pe aate hai, just to see these holy places. I think that's really beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful to see how schools in India are giving importance to history, culture, religion, spirituality. I think it's really amazing, and I believe that should be something all around the world that people do. I'm enjoying this TV diet. Kudos to Bihar government for doing this, you know, more environmental friendly. Yeah, aapko bhi laga ki ek second ke liye ye banko ki jaisa lag raha hai? <laughs> Par nahi hai. This is the Thai monastery in Gaya, Bihar. This monastery was established in 1956 by the Thai government. And here, there are many life related images and scriptures. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. So, how can I leave without buying some local stuff? To take with me home. I'm at the market here in Bodh Gaya. So, chalo, ek shopping spree pe chalte hai. The entire street is adorned with souvenirs that will keep reminding you of Bodh Gaya. The stalls are lined up with small to large Buddha statues, key change, necklaces, and so much more. So, go take your pick. This is India's largest reclining Buddha statue installed in Bodh Gaya. And it is built by Buddha International Welfare Mission. And the Buddha statue is 100 feet long and 30 feet high. And as you can see, Lord Buddha is in the sleeping posture. And it is said that this is the posture also that Lord Buddha was last in before Samadhi. This is a very different Yatra from when we went to Mata Vishnu Deviji. So, for going up, you can go from the pedal or from the dolly. These are both options. There is no option of the car, and there is no EV here. So these are the only two options over here. Make sure you wear good shoes. <laughs> Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. It is said that in this cave, Lord Buddha stayed for six years before he traveled to Bodh Gaya for attaining enlightenment.
guys, I must say today has been surreal. Like such adventures that I have experienced and mujhe laga ki you know it'll be a little bit hard because it's it's very steepy matlab it's not like you know thoda sa straight kind of a stairs and today is my last day here in Gaya in Bihar and uh, I definitely have I definitely have a lot of memories uh, that I will be taking with me. So um Bihar you have definitely got my heart and I hope that whatever we have covered will make you all also fall in love with Bihar and come here. So guys keep following Curly Tales to know where next India with Ellie will take you all. <laughs>